Hey everybody, this is Claire, and this is Small Joyful Things. And I've just noticed there's a shadow here that you're not supposed to see, so we're just gonna put that over there. Forget that you saw that, okay? Okay? Right, okay. Anyway, my name is Claire. Uh, I go out to thrift stores and I go to estate sales and occasionally I buy things from Craigslist and I try to find things that either make me feel happy or tell me a story. And then I try to find as much as I can about them and I come back and tell you guys about them. So here's what I've got for you today and hopefully that wasn't a spoiler. And here we go. You can't really see it. This is a, a compote or a candy dish. And I gotta say, I really love finding these just because I love the idea of just like, you basically just have this, I don't know, sitting on your table, you know, or on your, you know, on your kitchen or something like that. And you put sweets or chocolate or something into it. And just like, just for, you know, you're walking past, oh, chocolate. There you go. <laughs> I, I find it I find them funny. Anyway, so this is a this is a vintage uh candy dish. Um it is pressed glass in fantastic condition, I have to say. And it is all basically all ruffled. Um so pressed glass and for the ruffles and everything, obviously they put it into the mold and you can see that the mold lines here, there's three of them. So three piece three piece leaf mold. And then when they took it out of the mold while it was still hot, they would have pressed the ruffles in, into place so lovely delicate uh like the amber color is it should be screaming at everybody like oh look it's the 1970s again <laughs> anyway let's measure it up it is about five and a half inches across and it should be easy enough i'll just lay that down about five and a half inches tall so you know just about square <laughs> So, so okay, what what exactly have we got here? I bought this for, I think it was $4 in a thrift store. But that's kind of about what I want to, want to spend on something like this. Um, it is completely unmarked, obviously. And I kind of picked it up and I thought, yeah, this is like, I don't think this is depression last. Because it just, it, it kind of has, a, I don't know. I had a feeling that it wasn't going to be depression last. I thought with the colour and the shape, I thought, yeah, 1970s. And... It turns out that I was, you know, I was kind of, kind of close. It's actually the 1960s and it is Fenton. And I know I've mentioned before about how I never, ever see Fenton. And suddenly I get like two pieces in the span of like two weeks. I'm Well, you know, there you go. Maybe it's like buses, like you're waiting for them and then suddenly two show up. Anyway, so here's what we've got. Because it's Fenton, at least we've got a great, a great amount of information on it. It is a Fenton Amber Glass Pineapple Compote. The actual pattern itself, if you can see there, that, that there, that little design there, it's called the pineapple, the pineapple pattern. Now, funnily enough, when I was actually doing research for this, is that I kept coming across they were calling, they were calling it either, they were calling it, I think, the keywords that people were using in a lot of their listings of it, kept mentioning colonial or colony as well. And I think they were literally just getting mixed up between two patterns and decided to just shove the two together. So there's a bit of confusion going around about what this pattern actually is. Although, having taken a look, I'm pretty sure it's just pineapple. That's all it's called. If you look for just amber pineapple compote, this is what you get. There you go. End of discussion. That's it. Let's see. Yeah, there you go. Pineapple. Yeah. Okay, so anyway, I, while I was actually chasing my tail around here, you can see that obviously I got a chance to take a look at a lot of different, a lot of different Fenton designs. A lot of them you can see around here will have this kind of the bulbous pedestal, especially on the hobnail. That's the thumbprint. This one no, has a more straight, a straight stem there. Um, would this have had a lid? No, some of them do. Uh, I'm pretty sure that all the ruffles are kind of like that. They generally don't have lids of any kind, just because it would be too difficult to try and fit a lid onto that. So how do we know it's the 1960s? Well, first start because most people are listing as that and also because it has no mark of any kind and Fenton started to emboss their stuff with the actual Fenton logo somewhere on it after like the, the, the late 1960s. Um, this one, you know, is, I'm going to say late 1960s probably. It's in good enough condition that I don't think it's going to be from earlier than that. And it kind of does feel like it's going to be around that era. So what's going to happen to it? And how much is it worth? And unfortunately, 
if I just jump over to, no, it's not that. Here we go. So if I just jump over here to, you know, basically looking at eBay, yeah, there are a couple of these up already, but unfortunately the prices are all just kind of, kind of all over the place, really. Like there's one here, we have a, a you know, Fenton Pedestal Candy Dish Compote Vintage 1960s Amber Ruffled Pineapple Diamond. You see, again, people do this a lot. They put stuff up on eBay and they just shove all the keywords into it. We've got one here shipping from the United States for its ridiculous amounts and $25 Canadian. Vintage Fenton Pineapple Colonial Amber. You can, that's, the keywords just kind of, you know, keyword stuffing again. If people aren't sure, they just put everything in and just assume whoever's looking at it will know what they want. It, yeah. It's not great. It means that, you know, bad information starts propagating. But anyway, in this one, this is from Canada, somewhere in Canada, obviously, because again, I am in Canada. And this is 37.86, oh, whatever, with, you know, not, not as bad shipping, but still not great. Now, th I mean, that's pretty good. But the thing is, is that there are no sold comparables for this. So either they're not worth this or people just don't want them at any price. So what's going to happen to this one? It's going to go up on eBay. I'll be putting it up for a much more reasonable price than this. And for 10 bucks, I'll ship it anywhere in North America. Well, within reason, I'll ship it anywhere in Canada or the United States. I, I don't know what the shipping is like to Mexico. I haven't looked any time, so any, you know, any time. Okay. <laughs> so there we go. This is kind of a little short video. Just so I just want to show off the fact that I actually got like another piece of things. And I'm probably not going to see any more of it for months at this point. You never know. We'll have to see. So... Here is my small joyful thing for the day. I hope you guys like it as well. Thank you very much for watching.